Hello students, this is Gautam Sinha. In my today's video class, I am going to discuss about the transportation in plants. Transportation in plant is a subtopic from the chapter Life Processes of Class 10. So, let's begin the chapter. Transportation in plants first thing which need to right now know what are the things which are going to be transported in the plants what are the contents what materials are basically being transported in the plants the answer is first water next minerals and the third one is the food it is also called solute now next thing coming in the mind that from where to where from which location to what particular location these three materials are being transferred in the plants the so students water is being transported by root hairs from the soil to the different parts of the body and simultaneously minerals are also being transported from the soil by means of root to the different parts of the plant but what happens of this? Food. You are well aware about the photosynthesis. Photosynthesis taking place in the leaves of the plant. This is an anabolic process. In the photosynthesis, there is a product is being formed. That product is called food. That is carbohydrate. And this carbohydrate this food is being prepared by the plants in leaves and from the leaves it is being transported to the different parts of the plant. I am drawing a one a rough sketch of the plant and by this diagram I can have go for the its explanation. This is only the outline of the diagram I have drawn. These are the leaves. This is the, is the root system. That means these are the roots. This one is the leaf. This one is the stain. Apart from this, there is also presence of flower, fruits. Water is being transported from the roots to the leaves, to the stains, to the flowers, to the fruits, to the different parts of the plant. Then what happens in the leaf? As a result of photosynthesis, the food is being prepared at here. The food is being prepared and this food is this food is being transported to the downward as well as to the upward. So transport of food takes place from the leaves to the different parts of the plant and transport of water takes place from the roots to the different parts of the plant as well as the transport of minerals also taking place from the roots to the different parts of the plant. Now the next thing is that which particular cells carry out this process? That means which cells are being responsible for the transport of all these these cells are being called vascular tissues. 
they are called vascular tissues what are vascular tissues i am just going to describe vascular tissues are xylem and phloem xylem is mainly meant for the transport of water and minerals from the root to the different parts of the plant and phloem is responsible for the transfer for the transport of these solutes these foods from the leaves to the upward as well as downward as well as to the different parts of the plant now this xylem and phloem is a complex tissues they are being made up of so many different cellular structures so what are the different uh, structures what are the different cells which comes in the xylem xylem comprises of four different elements they are first is tracheids vessels xylem fibers and the xylem parenchyma xylem parenchyma these four cells act collectively then the transport of water taking place that means the absorption of water as well as the absorption of minerals takes place next one what are the constituents of phloem phloem is also comprises of four different elements they are sieve tubes next one is companion cells third one is phloem fibers this phloem fiber is also called bast fiber and this one the fourth one is phloem parenchyma so so students when these all cells collectively work then this transfer of food from the leaf to the different parts of the plant taking place there is one biological term is also being used for this purpose for this process for this phenomenon this term is trans translocation this ever used to come in the board examination what is translocation the transfer of solute transfer of food from the leaf to the different parts of the plant so this how these cells are being responsible for the transfer of water and minerals xylem and this phloem is responsible for the transfer of food and solute so my dear students in today's class you come to know about how does the transportation taking place in plants so you might have benefited and that will be fruitful for you for your own enhancement of your knowledge so like my this video subscribe my channel and share to others thank you